Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So in today's video, I've got 10 tips for the new DJI Pocket 3. Now we're just gonna fire through these very quickly just to keep this video short and sweet. So with all that said, let's just jump right in. The first tip is you can change the behavior of the front screen when you're powering it off. By default, when you rotate the screen, the device is gonna power on. And to power it off, again, you can rotate the screen and it's gonna give you a two second timer and then shut down. You can cancel that two second timer if you wanna continue filming in portrait. But if we go to our settings, you can see we have an option there, rotate screen to power off. By default, it's set to give you a two second timer, but you can have it shut down immediately by selecting now, or you can have it never shut off. That way, if you're gonna be filming a lot in portrait, you can just rotate the screen and it'll go right into portrait filming. For myself, I like to have it set to now. And you can see now when we rotate the screen, it just goes ahead and powers off. The second tip is you can change the direction the camera is facing on startup. By default, when we power it on, it faces forward. But if you're going to be using your Pocket 3 primarily for vlogging, you can change it so it faces you automatically. And we do so. Again, we're going to go into the settings. You can see the second option down, it says gimbal startup direction. By default, it's saying forward. We're gonna change that to backwards. You can also have it set to last setting, but now when we power it off and repower it back on, you can see it's gonna turn and face me. Now the third tip here is again to do with vlogging. You can have the Pocket 3 automatically start active tracking you when you rotate the screen. To do so, we're gonna swipe down and what we're going to do is turn on that feature there. That is the face tracking selfie, and we've just turned it on. So now when we rotate the camera, you can see it's going to look for a face, and it's going to automatically start tracking. So no matter which way you move the camera, it's going to keep you locked in the center. Now the fourth tip here is to do with the DJI Mic 2. If you get the creator combo, or if you purchase it separately, you can use the link button on the side of the transmitter to stop and start recording on the Pocket 3. And when we hit the link button, you can see it starts recording, hit it again, and it's going to stop recording. So that's a great feature if you have your Pocket 3 mounted on a tripod and you're filming, you can actually stop and start recording without having to walk over to it and hit the button manually. Now the fifth tip here is again to do with the microphone. If you have the microphone, if you've purchased it with the creator combo or separately, you can use this as a standalone field recorder. It actually has really good audio and to do so you just power the unit on and then hit the record button. You can see that red light comes on. So it's now recording audio. So if you want to record a separate audio track, if you're out filming, you can do so easily. You can then plug this into your computer or your iPad and transfer the audio files over and sync them to your video. And the sixth tip is again to do with the microphone. When it's connected to the Pocket 3, you can see at the top here we get an audio meter. That green bar along the top will show you what your audio levels are. As you can see, when I move the transmitter closer to my mouth, we start to get a little bit of orange there at the end, meaning it's peaking. If I move the transmitter farther away, you can see the audio levels are down. So it's just a nice visual quick way to keep an eye on your audio levels while you're recording. Now tip number seven is to do with powering on and powering off. You can use the record button on the front there to power the unit on and to power it off. When the unit's powered off, if we just do a quick press on it, you can see it's going to go ahead and power on. While it's powered on, if we do a press and hold, it's going to power the unit off. Now tip number eight is the Pocket 3 has a quick capture style feature. So when we rotate the screen to power it on, it'll automatically go in and start recording. To do so, we swipe down from the top, we click on this icon here, and it's called Screen Rotate and Capture. So we can enable that. We'll power it off. Now you'll notice when we rotate the screen to power it on, it's gonna automatically start to record. So that's great for capturing things quickly on the fly. When we rotate the screen to shut it off, it's gonna stop recording, and this time it's gonna give us a countdown whether we wanna shut it off or continue. And in that same menu, it does give us a few options of what we wanna do. We can use our last setting, we can record video, we can do low light recording, or we can start filming a hyperlapse. Now tip number nine is to do with active tracking. You can easily start active tracking a subject or a person just by double tapping on the screen. 
As you can see there, we got the DJI mic on the screen and we can just double tap it and you can see it's now tracking it. Then when you're ready to stop tracking, all you have to do is press the joystick and it's going to stop tracking the object. Now tip number 10 is actually very interesting. You can actually change the focus style. So to do that, what we're going to do is swipe over from the right hand side. We're going to enable pro mode and you can see at the bottom there on the left hand side, we have focus mode. We have three different options. We have single. That's good if you're going to be filming something that's not moving. Continuous, which is probably what you're going to be using most of the time. And that way it's continuously auto focusing. But the really interesting one here is product showcase. And what that's going to do is blur the background. It's going to give you kind of that uh, soft focus in the background to make the footage look a little more cinematic. So if you're a person who wants to get a little bit creative or you're going to be filming B-roll for videos, it's a great tool to enable. When you combine that focus mode with active tracking, you'll be able to capture nice B-roll footage very quickly and easily. So there you go, folks. Those are 10 quick tips for the new DJI Pocket 3. I have more tips coming, so stay tuned for a part two in the next week or so. Hopefully you enjoyed it and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It's always greatly appreciated. And we'll see you in the next one.